If you are in Cali and you are trying to invest for cash flow, you're probably doing it out of state, right? We got all the folks like, yo, what's the best market for cash flow? Where can I find the best cash flow properties, right? It's a very, very popular topic for a lot of investors in California. Today, we're going to be working with some folks from L.A. to help them do just that. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. This is what I do. I help people like you invest in cash flow real estate. Today, we're working with my dude Wiley. Wiley and his brother, you guys are from L.A., looking across the country for that cash flow real estate, right? You guys, pretty much all of California, right? That's what you, you know, it's, it's a large portion of our business here at Holton Wise is helping people like you guys in California. Not everybody's from L.A., but... You know, spread all the way up and down, top to bottom. California, super expensive, doesn't lend itself to those looking for cash flow. So we get a lot of guys like you, Wiley, and we help a lot of them. Now, uh, Wiley, what I like to do is help you guys build um, portfolios that are well-balanced, right? Super low, super high. Everything is fairly cheap and uh, affordable out here where we're searching as opposed to where you're from. So it's all going to look very cheap to you. But, like, for instance... One of the properties we have under contract for you right now is, uh, what is it? It's like, I think it's like $77,000 is what you paid for that duplex, right? So this one, a little on the higher end of the budget, right? It's about two and a half times more expensive, but the rent roll is much higher. Uh, it's quite a bit nicer, right? So I think what you want to do is balance out your portfolio, right? I did the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. You should check that out. I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? So if you're going to do stuff in the D neighborhoods, in the C neighborhoods, in the B neighborhoods, I think you should kind of do all three to get some balance uh, with that portfolio. At least that's what I think. But, of course, this is all about you. It's your show. It's your video. So uh, you tell me what you want to do. I looked at this one recently. Still available. Still on the market. Based on everything I've done with you, Wiley, I think you'll dig it. So I'm going to leave you with that footage, and then you let me know. Uh, if you're feeling this one, if not, you know, give me some feedback. Do you want me to find you stuff that is priced a little bit less, priced a little bit more? You let me know, player. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. This one, man, this is a nice, nice property for two reasons, location and the layout, okay? 2206 West Boulevard, Cleveland, 44102. Price, 199900 Been on the market for 63 days, okay? It's been on the market for quite a while because there's not as high of a demand uh, for these more expensive, nicer duplexes. It feels like everybody that's coming to Cleveland, like at the bottom, at the bottom, the 60K, 70K, 80K, 90K, 100K duplexes, right? Seems like there's just so many more investors, right? Because it takes less money to buy them, right? So there's more buyers available. These ones typically take a little longer. Uh, but in my opinion, stuff like this, guys, you're really missing the boat if you're not picking up investments. This is in the Edgewater neighborhood. And look at this. That's downtown right there. This is the house. You're butting up to these woods. And, dude, this thing is jai enormous man ginormous dude it's a huge side by side three bedrooms each side and they're like 1400 square feet like we've managed several properties on uh this little area like this whole strip the the homes were just like so much bigger than like your traditional duplexes right like traditional duplexes coming in like 1800 square feet right these Right here, 28. They're just massive, massive. And because of that, we get huge rents, man. Huge rents. Market rents, currently the current owner, he's got them in there a little less, right? He's, you know, got a little less. And you can see it's not like he's taking the greatest care of his building. Like, look, you could even see it in one of the photos. I just saw it. 
Like, he's got a boarded-up window here, right? You got some peeling, right? So it's not like taking the greatest care of his unit. So it's not like he's, like, trying to deck it out and get high-end stuff here, right? But market rent, 1200 1200 What he's bringing in is 10 and 8 right? But market rents, that's what we should focus on because that's what you're going to be making for the long haul here, right? I don't recommend just booting these tenants out either. I would just say we'll try to slowly work them up, right? When a natural turnover occurs is when we'll want to do the unit turn, right? You don't want to just do a unit turn for no reason. Like 1000 ain't 1200 but it's a lot more than zero, and it's a lot more than you sending like ten grand to us to renovate the unit, right? So 2400 comes in. It's 28.8 for the year. This is real estate investing in a magic. You don't get to keep the whole 28,000, folks. That would be magic. That's not what you come to Old Wise TV for. That's that's what fake gurus teach you, right? Oh, here's the right. You get to keep it. It's all profit. It's not all profit. That's not how real estate works. Is this a very nice neighborhood? Yes. Is the tenant base incredibly solid? Yes. Are we still going to account for the normal problems that occur? With rental property investing, absolutely. That's what we do because that's real life, okay? So repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, those things are real. They do happen. So pure profit should be just under 14 k As far as price, 199 I think that's a little too high. Could also be why it's still in the market, 63 days. I think we got to come in close to that but not hit it exactly. Think of 190 190 it's a great deal for you. You put down 47 and a half, bank kicks in 142 and a half. Pencils out to a long-term cash-on-cash return of 14.2%, right? And you're in a very solid neighborhood, one of the nicer neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? So you're not having to deal with constant problems, right? Will problems occur over the course of your ownership? Probably, but we're mitigating them as much as we can. On top of that, not only is it huge, right? Not only is it huge. Remember, it's like 2,800 square feet, an extra 1,000 feet, 1,400 square feet per unit. The fact that it's bigger helped us with the rent, but it's also going to help us with reduced turnovers. In addition to that, the neighborhood being nicer is going to help us with reduced turnovers. But also this layout, it's side by side. Even if it was 1,400 square feet and it was up down, that wouldn't be as ideal as side by side. Because side by side, you don't have somebody above or below and the tenants don't fight as much. This feels like a single-family home, up-down duplexes don't. Like 95% of the duplexes in Cleveland are up-down. So when you get the opportunity to pluck one that is bigger, has the premium layout, and is in a premium neighborhood, you absolutely need to do it, folks. This deal is a home run any way you slice it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.